Forum Next 2023. I'm at the Forum Labs booth with my buddy Matt. Hey Joel. Hey Matt, how are you man? Doing great. I'm really happy to be here because we're in an area of something I'm very familiar with and that's the workflow of prints from a Fuse One. And I printed things and I put them in the sift and depowdered and recovered and then media blasted them. And in some email conversations, I heard that Form Labs has a thing now that makes things better. So can we actually talk about the now new workflow? Absolutely. So. To exactly to your point, typically when you get those parts out of the sift, you got to brush them pretty good and then you have to put them into a media blaster. And after you recover that powder, you still have all that loose powder on your parts, some of that semi feel right. Yeah, it, it didn't doesn't feel right. feel right. And for functional reasons as well as aesthetic, you got to make sure that all that powder is taken off. All now, of it, right? Like exactly. all of it. Exactly. Okay. So I mean, when you hold a finished part in your hands, you don't want to get powder transferred to you, right? <laughs> no, I mean, that's no. not really a, it's not a great aspect of powder bed, but you really have to get rid of that, right? Mm -hmm. On sift, you could either take a really long time trying to get into the nooks and crannies with a brush, or you could media blast. And unfortunately, with manual media blasting, that still takes a lot of time, it still takes a lot of effort, and your parts don't really come out clean. They come out with a bunch of media and a bunch of powder still stuck to them. It's a decent part of the workflow. Like, I, I get why you have to do it, but it's not, it's not perfect. And it's also not exactly what we at Form Labs think of as a great UX, yeah, right? That makes I a mean, lot of sense, at yeah. At the end of the day, we want you to feel like you can just get a button that you push and then your parts come to you basically white glove. So Is this a white glove push button solution? This is a white glove push button solution, oh, exactly. Okay. And when I'm saying white glove, I mean white glove treatment for your parts, but also you could wear a white glove take your parts out of it and there will be no powder transfer. Really? So, exactly, yes. So this is the Fuse Blast. This completes the Fuse ecosystem. After you get your parts printed and then you just knock them for a couple minutes, five minutes or so on sift, you can take them over here, put them into the tumbler basket, just click a button on the UI to start it, and then in 10 minutes, when you come back, your parts are clean to the touch. 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. I spent way, way longer than 10 minutes under the hood of the sift, yes. brushing and cleaning all of these parts, and you're exactly. telling me that I just kind of need to... You spend up, you know, five minutes on the sift, knocking off that powder, you get about 80% back just by breaking them out of the cake, and then all that powder that typically you'd have to blast off, you know, one by one, you just put them into the machine, hit the button, and it starts to tumble while blasting them with media. And we've dialed this thing in so that when they come out, they're totally clean to the touch and your parts are ready to hand off wherever you need them to go. The, like, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around this because when we talk about media blasting, like I've done it, and it's a very labor intensive, yes. precise, but not so much process. Like you, exactly. you've got the gloves and you put on your PPE, you're relying on your vision to clean a part mm -hmm. in a not optimal situation. And so to have not just a better way of doing it, but a push button solution, mm -hmm. a white glove solution, that's mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. I think with good reason. And a lot of people we've been showing this off to are similarly excited. We actually blasted a little bit of a lower PSI than people are used to oh. uh, because we're moving so much media. And that also means that your parts don't have the burning that you would with a standard oh. media blaster. Oh yeah, when you turn up the pressure that the media can cause visual imperfections exactly. in a final part, and it may not be what your customer wants. Exactly. On top of that, we also have an inline ionizer. So this guy right here. An inline ionizer. An ionizer. And what does an ionizer do in this setup? So what the ionizer does is it creates a, a cloud of ionized air, which then we blast at the part with compressed air, and that it neutralizes the charge, oh, yeah. okay. and all the dust just kind of falls off the part. So this is what you would typically get with a glass bead kind of finish, mm -hmm. right? So it comes I, out. I'm familiar with this finish. I love exactly. this finish, so yeah. This is the SLS feel, right? So it comes out and then, as you can see, the fuse blast has taken out all the powder, also from, you got the channels in there. Um, oh yeah, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So the internal channels, blind holes, through holes, it pretty much cleans out the whole part. Like that's impressive. Oh yeah. Because part of automation, uh, at CES a while ago, I remember we talked about the Formlabs automation for being able to remove things from the build plate on the resin side. And it was specific to certain parts and certain orientations, but obviously certain parts couldn't be automated off the build plate when they were shallow and long and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So what I'm wondering is in, in the blast, are there parts that it cannot handle in the automation? 
Well, so about 95% of parts are tumblable, right? They're the right really? size. Really, 95%? That's a, yeah, it's about, about what we've seen from the parts that we've been processing. But there are always going to be parts, thank you, there are always going to be parts that you might not want to blast, or you might not want to tumble specifically, right? Such something, as what? So something extremely delicate, where you might have like very fine walls or fine features, Typically, you just don't want that to come in contact with other parts when it's tumbling. Or a particularly large part, something that may not necessarily tumble well within a basket. I see. So instead of having to you know, pull the gun out and still have that kind of not ergonomic positioning, you can actually position this gun so it's facing down, and the blast nozzle now is supported while you can use two hands with the gloves to move it underneath the blast stream. Oh, if you can use both hands, yeah. rather than having to do this, you really get a finer, like a, a better precision exactly. better on control. the media and better, yeah, better control. Oh, yeah. I like, I just kind of, you know, when, when I want to introduce something on camera and I'm using my phone to record, I put it in a holster yes. so I can use both hands. Exactly. That makes sense. How much media can you recover from a session? All of the media is coming back. All of the media. All the media is coming back. You're not losing that media unless it breaks down over time, which oh, uh, sure. I mean, all media will eventually break down. But you're not going to run into the same problem that you do with the standard cabinet where the powder is the limitation. All the powder is getting filtered out, it's landing in the waste hopper, and your media can be reused time and time again without having to just purge and drop a whole bucket of media in there. I love it because the dream of additive Right, the dream of additive is push button, it's automation, it's it's customization, and it's bringing down the cost per part. Exactly. Or or it's improving the workflow. I mean, there's there's all sorts of dreams of additive, right? And with the with with the workflow for the fuse and being able to do these SLS parts, you've found the pain point, you've automated it, you've reduced the time it takes, and you've improved the quality of the result, and you've made it so you can recycle the media while it's still good. Exactly. Like, that's wonderful. We also have an additional drop-in module for polishing. Does this look like a standard SLS part to you? Let me see that. Okay, so here, oh, no. So there is a little bit of gloss on that part. Yeah, there is. Like, it's right? got some shine to it. It's got some shine. It's got some smoothness to that part. It does, yeah. Yeah, so this is a polished part that's been done in Fuse Blast. So you take your part, you put it in there. Okay. And then with the polishing system, you can use a special kind of media that instead of abrading the surface, it compacts the surface. If we're talking about traditional things, like it's, it's a finer grit sandpaper. Yeah, exactly. It's right? something like that. Instead of removing material, it's just compacting it down. Okay. So what polishing does is it takes that porosity that you typically get with an SLS part, and then it just kind of compacts it down oh. with a shot heating type of approach. So that okay. in about 20 minutes, you can use this polishing media to go from a potato with powder to a glossy finished part. Wait, the polishing is a part of the automation still? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you are So wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to be like, okay, this part looks good. You change out the media, you put it in there, you get this out and you're done. Exactly, and it's done and it's great for consumer applications. If it's something where someone's handling it, the polished part is scuff resistant. It's smooth, it's got a little bit of you know nice aesthetic gloss to it, and it's also great for dyeing. So if you want to then get a dyed part, a dyed black part, ah, you there get a we really go. nice finish on it. So these are the types of things that like an SLS part, if it just comes out looking like this, well, you know, I love that finish too. It's fine. But sometimes but you want something finer. A little bit more consumer grade, I think. Well, I think that's great because as people who use these machines, typically businesses that have customers, their customers may want this part. Yes. But the customers may also want this part. Yeah. And exactly. it's cool that they can now offer both yeah. via an automated solution. I love it. Well, Matt, okay. Matt, there's going to be a lot of interest out there. And so look in the camera and I want you to tell people where they can go to find out more. If you'd like to find out more, you can go to formlabs.com and read all about our products, the Fuse ecosystem, including the Fuse Blast. Yeah. This is amazing. I'm really happy I got to be here. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Polish all the things. Absolutely. And as always, high five. Nailed it. Yes.